Live from San Jose, California, in the heart of Silicon Valley, it's theCUBE, covering Hadoop Summit 2016, brought to you by Hortonworks. Here's your host, John Furrier. Okay, welcome back everyone. We are here live in Silicon Valley for Hadoop Summit 2016. This is Silicon Angle. This media is theCUBE, our flagship program. We go out to the events and extract the signal from the noise. I'm John Furrier, my co-host. Peter Burris, our next guest is Rakesh Kant, Head of Enterprise Data Management and Analytics and Technology at US Bank. Welcome to theCUBE. Thank you, John. So, love having the people who actually are out in the field, front lines, putting this stuff to use. Absolutely. So, welcome and, and thanks for coming on and sharing uh, some insights. So, the first question is really, um, what's your take on the ecosystem here and as a customer of all these suppliers who want to sell you something, you have to put it to work. Where's the signal, where's the noise? I'm not finding any signal right now. So, I, I, I must confess, coming to these conferences is confusing me more than uh, helping me out, to be, to be very honest and blunt. Um, uh, I, I think there's a lack of uh, standards where a particular technology, we have got five choices. And I'll give you an example. In, in, um, in, in the underlying distribution, we have a choice between Hortonworks, Cloudera, MapR. One is open platform, the other two are not. So I'm scratching my head, where should I go? I have no guidance. Look at the stack as you go up, uh, you have uh, SQL. I've got a Hive choice, I have a Hawk choice, I have a, uh, some of the uh, Kaibo, Druid, uh, so many choices out there. And which one should I use for what? I have no guidance. When you talk to different people, they give different answers. I mean, yesterday there was a talk, uh, I think uh, the founder of, uh, one of the co-founders of Hortonworks was talking about Hive, and I, I asked him a question. If Hive is, work Hive is working so fast, should I also use, when should I use the product that you also have in your, in your suite of products, Hawk? Can you tell me some, gu some guidance which one to use when? I and mean, the answer was not very clear. So what I'm finding is the industry is evolving more and more, I would say, experiments, which is confusing the landscape for users like us who want to deliver, who have to deliver value at the end of the day, and we don't want to spend more time uh, kind of choosing between things, we want to deploy them. So a big part of that then suggests, Rakesh, that there's this enormous opportunity to apply these technologies to solve very complex business problems. The challenge is, is that you're spending, you're starting to spend more time actually trying to parse and figure out how to knit things together and not spending time solving the business problems, which is where you want to be. So are you looking, is there a need for different governance model or concrete guidance or what will help you get back to spending more of your time solving business problems and less time solving vendor problems? I definitely think that there is a need, there has been a reason uh, that standards have been put in place, if you can remember SQL, ANSI SQL, so you know, you know when you hear it's ANSI SQL compliant, there are certain semantics that gets confirmed when you hear that standard. Um, when you look at the uh, Linux world, uh, the uh, um, the operating system, they, they comply to certain standards. When you hear that, that, but in this world, I other than Open HDP, which is still not very clear what to use when, a standard is required. I don't know who and how we can get there. Maybe business needs to, all business needs to come together and create a business consortium that sets that standard and then everybody follows. Maybe uh, all analysts get together and they say, here's what the standard should be. There's a need for a standard that can help businesses, but I, I, I don't know where to look for, where it's going to come from. I can't see that coming yet. Well, one of the things we've had a number of conversations with other users like yourselves, and one of the statements that we're getting, uh, and I know you've been part of these conversations too, John, is that we need a, an approach to conceiving of data value. 
that at the end of the day, what everybody's doing here is they're creating data assets that can be applied to business problems, but it's not clear how we continue to invest and sustain those assets, and that having a concrete statement about data value can then lead to some approaches to thinking about how things come together to better maintain and create the assets right. that digital business needs. What do you think about that? It means we are, in la because there's a lack of that, so we are adopting our own on the fly thought process. So we either gravitate towards the big enterprise players and expect them to figure all this out and deliver things to us. So Informatica of the world or IBMs of the world that, that figure it out for us. We are your customers, have been your customers, so we'll work with you if you abstract that complexity for us. The second is if the big enterprise players are not working out, then we go to one of the other large players and expect them to kind of figure out the complexity. So we are actively looking for partners and we are gravitating to whoever has the weight today to go get that guidance. Um, I, again, I, I don't have an answer for you, Peter. How can we get there? There has to be some collaboration. The community, venture capitalists, analysts, business, technology company need to come together in some platform of understanding. Need some leadership. We'll talk, we'll talk to you some about that. <laughs> uh, has the ODPI helped you at all? I mean, that's one standard approach that seems to be not in the conversation of this show, but they did make announcements about some standardization around at least deployments of Hadoop or uh, distributions. Uh, is that the kind of thing you're looking for is, again, standardization on things like distribution or other components within the stack? Other components, like for example, uh, um, we've got uh, Storm, Flink, and, 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 I'm, and, and, and Spark, right? They almost can do similar things, but different in different use cases, right? So if I am going to go deploy a messaging use case, what is the best, what is the standard? And it could be that three things fit into the standard. As long as, just, I mean, I'll take SQL as the best example because it can kind of relate to people. When you write select star from a table, you expect a behavior that is consistent across different RDBMS. So when I'm trying to do a call or different types of calls, the stat, those, those call APIs are standardized, and then I can switch between Storm today and Spark tomorrow, and whatever works, whatever dies, I'm not at, at uh, at risk of redeploying yeah. and recoding all of that. So that's a problem that's been identified. Thanks for pointing that out. And we agree, by the way, that that's standards are important. Can you quantify some of the consequences and the uh, impact to your business of not having this solved? I mean, can you share and put some color around some sure. of the impacts? So one of the use cases that we've been actively trying to work out is this uh, value delivery last mile in the value delivery, where business is very interested in thinking about, I have this idea, it, this great insight, but I don't know if it's going to work or not. If there was a platform available where I can deploy my insight in an A-B fashion, uh, then I could get immediate feedback, and I can say, okay, this works, let's scale it, this doesn't work, let's shut it down. We don't have that framework. It takes, it takes some amount of time to be able to go pull all the clickstream, pull all the impression data, pull all the feedback data, and then put it together, and by the time it's kind of uh, late, right? So if there was a, uh, yesterday there was a talk uh, by Alibaba that they are trying to do it, but they had to develop all in-house. So if there was a semantic available that you can go put together quickly. A template. A te yeah, exa exactly, then you can go and apply that. Uh, it's a very, very real problem for us to solve. It's interesting, we were talking before with another entrepreneur on the floor here, and I asked him about the show, and he echoed some of the sentiment that you have around, it's, I won't say it, he didn't say it's, it's a mess, but the ecosystem is seeing value. And the value is on the analytics and the business value. Yet, there's still the conversations about technology, so there seems to be a conflict between technology speeds and feeds and standards and the pressure for business value. Do you agree? Oh, absolutely. I, I'm stuck in the middle right now. And I would like to focus my time on delivering that value, having conversation my, with my business partners. And I've heard at least five of them in last, as recent as last week telling me, this is what I want, this is what I'm struggling with. And then when I think about how to go help them, then I have to spend 
tremendous amount of time to figure out out of this bag of tools which one should I pick and combine and, and apply it to that problem. And by the way, yeah. worry about whether it is going to be there <laughs> two right. years from now. It's kind of like right. <laughs> uh, we were talking about that uh, with Rob Hofe, our uh, editor in chief at Silicon Angle, was saying, you know, look, wh where's the problem? And you know, like a like a like a good trial uh, lawyer, someone's got to be blamed for this. What's who's at fault? Is it the ecosystem collectively? Is it the vendors just holding their line? Is it just lack of evolution, maturity? Not the, I don't want you to name names, but I mean, where's the Who's at fault here? Is it a collective thing? I, 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 I would kind of answer it differently. I don't think it's a fault. I think it's, there's a creative, uh, I would say, every human being, I mean, a lot of, lot of people want to create new things. They're interested in creating new things. Um, but there's no process. So community itself, right? If there was a process in the community that says, new thing is coming up, how it is similar or dissimilar with things that already exist in the tool bag, if rather than creating a brand new again, how can I put the same thing into the existing so that we can kind of develop the existing? There's no process for that. Today I come up with a new idea. I was kind of so if someone cracks that code, they're going to be a huge opportunity exactly. for that. Exactly. Well, in many respects, John, going back to what we were saying, there's got to be a statement of where does value come from. We got to move away from being tool focused to becoming more application focused, where the application suggests a set of tools that, or a template for how those tools will come together so that we can get developers engaged and that's when we get the explosion. Right. So from our perspective, we think great tools, stretching, Absolutely. everybody's saying they're doing the same thing, time to focus on the templates, it'll lead to applications Absolutely. that generate value, and it's just a virtuous cycle at that Absolutely. point in time. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and your, your, your comment is spot on. If you start with the value, and you see value one, value two, value three, and you break it down into parts and pieces, you'll see that ecosystem, and then you you uh, standardize on, okay, right. if three use cases are using these two things, okay, this is the standard. Or that, that's how we traditionally, in the data world, we break that down. And in the technology world. Yeah, ex we should. <laughs> we should. <laughs> Rakesh, thanks so much for coming on theCUBE yeah, and sharing sure. your insights, really from the front line, someone who actually writes the checks, deploys the technology, serves the business business value. Thanks for sharing your perspective Absolutely. on the ecosystem. You're watching theCUBE here live in Silicon Valley. I'm John Furrier, Peter Burris. We'll be right back with more live coverage here on theCUBE after this short break. Oh,